Jen and Tom, this tragic accident happened right here on Chestnut Street. And as you can see behind me, there's still glass and pieces of car amongst the debris. Now, the storm caused damage across the state, but neighbors here tell us they never expected this to happen. Parts of a massive pine tree can be seen in this front lawn of a home in Claremont. It's the tree that caused a deadly accident Sunday night. It's a freak accident. I mean, nobody expected it. The damaging storm that moved through the Granite State Sunday broke the tree in half, sending it crashing down on top of a passing car. It happened too quick, and there was no no response in the vehicle. Police say it killed 24-year-old Kyle LeClaire of Claremont. It's sad. And I feel for the family. This storm wrecked havoc across the state, shutting down roads. Monday, crews worked to restore the power and clean up the debris. It just rained so hard. The wind was blowing as hard as I've ever seen it. Eversource says hundreds of customers in Claremont were without power, but they've been able to reduce those numbers. When we heard the cracking of the tree in front of the house, um, we sent everybody down in the basement. Jeff Andrews still has no power and has damage to his home. We don't know what's wrong with the uh, roof yet, but the one of the chimneys came down, uh, so that's on top of the roof. People living in Newport are dealing with similar damage. This truck has been crushed by falling debris and yeah. just down the street. This was our best maple tree. I thought the other one would have gone down first. Emily Colby has a massive tree dangling above her driveway that cracked in half during the storm. Thankfully, it didn't do any damage to her cars or her home, but it took down the power line. It's scary, but I know other people are worse off, so I'm very thankful that we're all safe. Now, Eversource tells us that many customers had their power back on by 3 this afternoon. They hope to have power fully restored by midnight tonight. Reporting live in Claremont, Kristen Carosa, WMUR News 9.